Good afternoon. My name is Megan Norman with NP Strategy, and I am delighted to serve as your MC this afternoon. I want to welcome you to this momentous announcement right here in Newberry County. We are celebrating exciting news, not just for the county of Newberry, but also for the entire state of South Carolina. For more on why we're here today, please welcome the chairman of the Newberry County Council, Mr. Buddy Livingston. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and allies, distinguished guests, welcome to Newberry County. And thank you all for coming today. And thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day here in Memorial Park, which makes it shine as much as this event. It truly is a great day in Newberry County. Yes. Um, I normally like to just speak off the cuff, but this is so important. I'm going to read most of this speech so that I make sure I cover everything, because this is a monumental event for us here in South Carolina. Let me start by stating the obvious. Folks, this is big. And when I use the term big, I mean big. The investment is big and the jobs are big. The opportunity is absolutely huge. In terms of economic development, nothing bigger has ever, ever happened in this community. This is a massive win on any scale, and we're delighted, delighted to be the future host of something so big. Today, we welcome Samsung to our community. But this event here in beautiful downtown Newberry is just the public introduction of a relationship that began last year. Over the past seven months, the growing relationship has led Samsung to Newberry a dozen times or more, and it has even led us to Samsung headquarters in South Korea. This relationship brings us here today, culminating in a company and a community joining forces, investing in each other, and preparing for the future success together. Ooh. <clears throat> of course, there are a lot of people who made this possible, and these people deserve our attention and praise. So let me start with thanking my colleagues on Newberry County Council. If y'all would please stand. <clears throat> Today, we are absolutely united in welcoming Samsung to our community. Together, we pledge our support our newest corporate partner as it grows its U.S. presence right alongside of us. One never-ending discussion we on council routinely have is what can we do to create opportunities for our residents, especially our young people. <clears throat> as a retired teacher, principal, and director of the Newberry County Career Center, I've spent my entire career trying to prepare young people for the world after school. And students not only need quality education when in school, they need opportunity when they get out. And this, what we do here today, is an excellent way to create opportunity for this generation and beyond. Today, the name Samsung becomes synonymous with opportunity in Newberry County. So thank you, council colleagues, for making this day possible by preparing this county for growth and investment. Your leadership and commitment to economic development means Newberry County can compete with anyone and is ready to act when the right opportunity knocks. I also have to thank our county administrator, Wayne Adams, for his part in making today happen and for keeping council informed along the way. Wayne is in Europe this week and couldn't be here today, but his involvement is this, in this project is deep and wide. Wayne, thank you for your keeping council informed and grounded during this process. Your hard work and leadership has helped make today a reality. And with that being said, I would like to thank you, Ms. Adams, for being here today representing your son and apparently laying a great foundation for him. Thank you. <laughs> Next to Rick Farmer and Kara Cannon our economic development department. Thank you for being on the front lines in day in and day out. It was you two who were in the trenches who made Samsung and its agents got, made sure Samsung and its agents got the answers they needed throughout the exhaustive site selection process. You two saw that every question got answered, every problem got solved. Thank you for your long hours and your dedication to bringing jobs and development to this community.
I also need to thank the state of South Carolina, the South Carolina Department of Commerce and the Ports Authority, Governor Henry McMaster and his lovely bride, First Lady, Ms. Peggy McMaster, hosted Samsung at the Governor's Mansions a few months ago, and they obviously made quite an impression. Thank you, Governor, for leading the state's economic development charge and for being here today to celebrate this win with us. <clears throat> but I specifically want to mention Nelson Lindsay, Daniel Young with the South Carolina Department of Commerce. Nelson and Daniel chased this project with us all the way to Korea and they found a way to bring it home with them. Now is not the time to get into all the great detail, but this was not a traditional, simple economic development project. There were lots of moving parts and lots of challenges, and at times I find myself amazed Nelson and Daniel could keep, of it, keep it all together. So thank you too. I also have to give a big thanks to our friends at Newberry Electric Cooperative, the South Carolina Power Team, and Santee Cooper. A community can't win a project like this without assistance of its electric allies. And boy, did our electric allies come through. To Keith Avery, James Chavez, oh, there you are. Um, lost my place. Uh, Lonnie Carter, thank you and your staff and your board so much for all you do across the state to keep us competitive and help us win. From Monk's Corner to Columbia and all the way to Seoul and back, our electric allies got our backs and made big things happen. <clears throat> but my biggest thanks today I reserve for Samsung itself. Thank you, Dr. Choi, for showing us the bigger picture. Thank you, Mr. Suh, and thanks, Mr. Baxter, for giving us this unique opportunity. And thank you for believing in Newberry County. We promise we will not let you down. Now, I have to be honest with you, folks, six months ago, I didn't know a whole lot about Samsung. I knew it was a major electronics company that made cell phones and DVD players and appliances, but I've learned a lot over this process, and I can tell you that this company is driven by imagination and innovation and determined to make the world a better place. I can tell you this kind of company we want in our community. My first contact with Samsung was when I was asked to attend a meeting in Columbia earlier this year. As chairman of council, my role at this meeting was just simply to show the economic development professionals that would uh, have our leadership support. I went into that meeting with good intentions, modest expectations, although I admit a bit skeptical. But it was at this meeting that I first became aware of the vision and depth of this company called Samsung. It was at that meeting that I first met Dr. Choi and what a friendly, dynamic, and visionary personality he is. Dr. Choi, thank you for gracing Newberry with your presence once again. I hope today's visit is not nearly your last, and thank you so much for your team for being such gracious hosts to us in South Korea. <clears throat> At this meeting in Columbia, Dr. Choi explained to us the Samsung vision to use innovation to change the world in positive ways. He described for us a company that encourages imagination and unconventional thinking, even as it must face everyday business realities. Now I want to tell you, by the time I left that meeting, I was starting to become a believer. Then I went to Korea and saw for myself, we toured a museum that told the Samsung electronic story. From its humble start, becoming one of, to one of the world's largest companies in the world, with a presence in over 80 countries and employing some 370,000 people. We saw factories so clean you could eat off the floor. But most importantly, we saw Samsung employees engaged in what they do and very proud of the company they work for. Now, I know what you're thinking. These guys done drunk some Samsung Kool-Aid. <clears throat> but there's no two ways about it. This is an exceptional company that could have gone anywhere in the United States. But they chose Newberry County, and I am incredibly proud of that. And it couldn't have happened at a better time. Just over a year ago, our community was hit with some sad news. One of our largest employers and taxpayers was closing up shop and moving away, putting more than 300 people out of work. The closing of Caterpillar was a real blow to Newberry. 
Right after that news hit, people began stopping me in grocery stores, at ball games, and at restaurants, asking, buddy, what are we going to do? My response all along was, don't worry, we will find a way. I told them we had a good, solid building to market. I said we had a staff of hardworking people that will literally go to ends of the earth to bring jobs and investment to Newberry. And I remember, reminded them that we've got a community full of some of the best, most reliable workers anywhere. I assured them we would be just fine in the long run, and I truly believe that. This is an excellent community, and we always find a way to rise to the challenge. It boggles my mind that just 14 short months ago, after that door closed, I'm standing here before you at the biggest economic development announcement in the history of Newberry County. There's an old saying that when one door of opportunity closes, a window opens. Today's announcement seems to prove that. Today, somewhere out of the audience, there is someone who knows what it feels like to be laid off, to lose a job through no fault of their own, but due to factors outside their control. A year ago, a door closed for 300 of our people, but today, a window opens for over 900. Thank you, Samsung. In closing, I want everyone here in Newberry County to be proud of who we are and what we're doing today. When one of the largest, most innovative companies in the world chooses your community, I think it says something about your community. I think it says something about you. Thanks, Governor McMaster. Thank you, Mr. Sue. Thanks, Mr. Baxter. Thanks, Dr. Choi, and all the Samsung team. And we welcome you to Newberry County. This time we have, at this time, we have some gifts on behalf of Newberry County for Mr. Baxter and Mr. Sue. Can you please come forward? Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 These gentlemen, this company is a phenomenal company. With that being, being said, now, it is my distinct honor to introduce the next speaker, who luckily for me is a man that doesn't need much introduction. Henry McMaster was born in Columbia and, like many of us, became a Gamecock. He went on to USC School of Law and eventually became a U.S. Attorney. Later, he became the Attorney General of South Carolina and then Lieutenant Governor. He ascended to the Governor's office earlier this year. Ladies and gentlemen, the Governor of the great state of South Carolina, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and great state is right, and this is a perfect, this is proof of it right here. I want to say to all, the, to the team here in Newberry as well, statewide, a job well done. Well done. And uh, actually, if we don't get through talking here, I'm afraid the county council will be well done sitting here <laughs> in the sun. They're turning red now. <laughs> we were in Washington this morning and had other officials from Samsung and the, Depart the uh, Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, announcing this in Washington to a packed crowd because it's, it's a very big deal. It's very important. Not only is it important to us in Newberry, in South Carolina, but also to the country. This is a major step forward, a major decision by Samsung. And let me tell you what it, what it means. In the few years I've been in and out of public office, I've learned a lot about our state and about our people. And to have companies that have been coming here over the years, and you've been watching them just like I have, and now today to have this company, this magnificent company, making the highest quality products in the whole world, to decide of all the places to go in the world to decide to come Newberry County, South Carolina. That says a lot. And what it, what it means and what they'll tell you is, of course, we have a lot of the assets, the great natural resources, a great port, great research universities that work together and from which cascade innovations and partnerships and collaborations that are really off the scale, best technical college system in the whole world, uh, inland ports that nobody else has, plenty of electric power, I mean, mountains on one side and the oceans on the other. We really do have it all. But as they will tell you, and as others have told me, the most important factor in it all is the people. It's the people of South Carolina. We are known now internationally as a handshake state, where your, where your word 
counts. Mm -hmm. We are known for our loyal people, our passionate people, strong and resilient. Our people will work. And that is what has made all the difference. So this is a big, big step for us. We are, we are now becoming brain power USA. We are the center of the new industrial revolution that is built on innovation, nanotechnology, data analytics. South Carolina is leading the way, and Secretary Ross said as much this morning in Washington, D.C. So this is a proud moment. I can't tell you how proud I am of the people of South Carolina. What we've accomplished over, over the centuries, starting with wonderful natural resources, and we've been through every force of nature and every force of man from then until now, and now we are rising on a faster trajectory towards prosperity than any other place in the United States. And ladies and gentlemen, what that means is not only can we be a model for the rest, but that means the children, our, our generation, our children's generation, their generation, they'll be stronger, they'll be smarter, they'll be happier, and we can be a model for the rest of the country. So I want to thank Samsung for investing and trusting in us, and I want to thank all the people that are in South Carolina, in Newberry, who have provided a model of good workers and good people that attracts this kind of company, this kind of business, this kind of people to our place. So I say to Samsung, we're glad to have you as part of our family. We're part of yours, and we look forward to a glorious future. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you to Governor McMaster and Mr. Livingston. Samsung is one of the world's leading technology companies. Founded in 1938, this Korean conglomerate will soon call Newberry County, South Carolina, home to its newest home appliance manufacturing facility. Now, we will hear from two Samsung executives. First, please welcome Mr. Byung Sam Sa, Executive Vice President and Head of the Digital Appliances Business for Samsung, followed by Mr. Tim Baxter, President and CEO of Samsung Electronics America. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As kindly introduced, I am B.S. So, head of the digital operations business at Samsung Electronics. Thank you very much for joining us today. I am really delighted to be here today in beautiful Newberry Square. I believe this is a very important day, not only for our company, but also for the community of Newberry. Over the recent months, it's been a real pleasure to get to know the state of South Carolina its strong leadership, dynamic business community, and above all, its passionate, hardworking people. So I am very excited today as we announce our plans to open a new state-of-the-art manufacturing facility right here in Newberry. Thank you. Thank you very much. This $308 million investment will create more than 950 local jobs and produce some of our most popular industry-leading home appliances. This is a moment of great pride for Samsung. And it is also an important milestone in our commitment to becoming the global leader in premium home appliances. The United States is one of our most important markets. American consumers set a trend for shoppers around the world and from smart fridges to premium dishwashers, they demand more and more of their electronics every day. 
So it has become apparent that we need to have a, our engineers, R&D, and manufacturing closer to these consumers so that we can do a better job of delivering innovative products that surprise and delight American consumers. In fact, the South Carolina workers are already delivering some of the highest quality products in the world. Indeed, strong local talent was one of the key factors that guided our selection, and we found South Carolina to be so well suited to meet the high demand of our growing digital appliances, appliances business. I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to everyone who has helped make this agreement a reality, including Governor McMaster, Secretary of Commerce, Bobby Heath, Newberry County Council Chairman, Mother Livingston, Keith Avery from Newberry Electric Cooperative, Jack Ellenberg from the South Carolina Porch Authority, and Nelson Lindsay and Daniel Young from the South Carolina Department of Commerce. Also, special thanks to the elected officials who have joined us today. With the many advantages in South Carolina, and with your active engagement and support, I'm sure this agreement will set the stage for a long and prosperous partnership for both of us. And now, I'd like to invite my colleague, Tim Baxter, to the stage to talk more about our approach and vision for, for our investment in the United States. Tim, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, B.S., and uh, thank you all for uh, being here on this beautiful day. I understand this is the expected weather we should get in late August as well. Is that, uh, <laughs> that's what I was told, anyway. So, uh, but uh, we, this really is an exciting day for us. Uh, you know, Samsung has been steadily expanding its operations in the U.S. now for over 40 years. And this investment reaffirms our commitment to American consumers, American engineering, and American innovation. We're especially grateful to the people of South Carolina for welcoming us, and they truly have uh, welcomed us into their community. And for the help and hospitality of Governor McMaster, uh, we really enjoy and, uh, and appreciate his support as well. Uh, which you may or may not know, this is actually our second facility uh, in the Palmetto State, uh, having a large call center operation in Greenville. Uh, and you know, Samsung's selection into the facility was based on more than just your great barbecue, although that was one of my uh, considerations uh, in it. Uh, but uh, as Bia said, and this is really uh, something we um, can't underscore enough, it is uh, because Newberry, Newberry County has a great high-skilled workforce. You earned that, and you're earning this uh, selection in large part based on that. So we thank you for that. It also has a very strong supply chain and transportation infrastructure. And in our business, we treat these appliances like lettuce. It has to move properly, it has to get to the right store and get out, uh, or it ages. So supply chain and the infrastructure uh, is extremely important to, uh, to us. And lastly, uh, by choosing an existing facility, you know, we were able to keep our environmental footprint as small as possible, while equally important, getting to work as quickly as possible. You know, and as Bia said, this is the start of what we hope will be a really uh, long and growing partnership. You know, at Samsung, we believe in choosing our partners wisely and working together to, to grow beyond each of our wildest dreams. You can see that in some of the examples. Uh, for instance, we have a venture capital funds who partner and work with small innovators 
to bring their technology to a global scale, like the new iris scan that's in this new phone was created uh, by a Jersey company uh, called Princeton Identity. And we have a team in Dallas working on cutting edge 5G network development. You may not have heard a lot about it. You're familiar with that little 4G thing on your phone. Well, 5G goes 10 times faster. That is right around the corner and will bring forth a whole new um, uh, set of possibilities. But perhaps even more relevant to today, you can also see that in a partnership which uh, we have in, with the city of Austin, Texas. Since op opening our Austin Semiconductor Manufacturing Plan in 1977, it has grown to the point where we have invested $17 billion in this state-of-the-art facility, employing more than 3,000 workers with very well-paying, skilled, and sophisticated chip production capabilities. As we've done in Austin, we also are eager to become active members in the community, in the Newberry community, and in the state of South Carolina at large. And we believe that through both philanthropic as well as uh, civil uh, engagement. In fact, you know, Samsung believes it's our obligation to give back to the communities we serve. And we do that in a number of ways. One is what we call a Hope for Children program, which is an initiative that empowers youth with opportunities for better health care and better education, especially in the areas of STEM. Our partnership with the Fisher House to improve the lives of America's military heroes, like we see behind us here in this uh, very, very important statue, uh, we hope will make a lasting impact to South Carolina that goes beyond just this initial investment. We are extremely excited about this opportunity together. We are excited about the prospects. We are excited about exceeding all of the expectations. And we look forward to this not just being a manufacturing plant, but this being a center of innovation for Samsung in our appliance businesses. We thank you for your support. We look forward to being not only great business partners, but great friends and great members of this community. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Baxter and Mr. Sa. If both of you will please come forward and Governor McMaster for a special presentation. This is a special presentation, gentlemen, because as I said, we're very proud of our state, we're proud of our people, and we're proud of our company known as Samsung. We're glad to have you as a member of our South Carolina family. And this is a, a plate that is engraved with the state seal and bears the words, Dumb Spyro Sparrow, which means, while I breathe, I hope. And we've been hoping for a day like this for a long time, <laughs> and we're still breathing, and here we are, and it's wonderful, and we look forward to a great future with our new family member, Samsung. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today's exciting announcement is a testament to the fact that South Carolina's economy is as strong as it has ever been. And the investment Samsung is making right here in South Carolina will continue our state's rich history in the manufacturing industry. Our final speaker today is the president and CEO of Newberry Electric Co-op, Mr. Keith Avery. They letting me wrap this up today, but good afternoon, Newberry. What a great day. Let, let me hear you. What a great day for Newberry. I will be brief. I understand I am the only thing standing between y'all and an uh, open bar in the opera house, so it won't take me long. I need to start by saying thank you to our team who worked very hard on this project. Uh, the names of these individuals are too numerous to mention, but I want to thank all of them for guiding me through this process. Uh, the South Carolina Power Team, I cannot say enough about the job that that group does for us. 
the South Carolina Department of Commerce. Uh, we've already singled out Lindsey, and he does a tremendous job, but he, he has a lot of help in there with him. Uh, the Central Electric Cooperative, uh, our provider, who worked with me running numbers and stayed with me the whole time. And also, Santee Cooper, who come together and stepped up when we needed them to. I also need to thank the board directors of Newberry Electric Cooperative for their guidance, their vision, and for reining me in sometime when I was getting a little bit too excited about this project, let me tell you. It was, it was exciting to go through this. Lastly, I want to thank Samsung. The individuals I have had interaction with from the executive group to the technical team were some of the finest and most professional people I have ever had the pleasure to work with. Mr. Sue, they say employees make a great organization, and from what I've experienced from your employees, Samsung is a great organization. <laughs> Mr. Sue, Mr. Baxter, Newberry Electric Cooperative does not want to be just your power provider. We want to be your partner. Samsung's success is our success. You do not become a customer of Newberry Electric Cooperative, you become a member of the Newberry Electric Cooperative family. I pledge today that myself and my staff will work daily to meet your expectations in all matters, but especially our customer service. This is a great day, a great day, not only for Newberry County, but for the Midlands as a whole. I have 19 other peers in the state of South Carolina with the 20 elected cooperatives. You can imagine that all of them are kind of sort of like me, a lot of type A personalities in the room, but we all get along real well. But we're all also very competitive. Over the last few years, those in the upstate, I've heard them brag, brag about BMW. <laughs> in the low country, all I hear is they remind me of Boeing and Volvo. Well, after today, the they're going to listen to me brag because in Newberry, we have Samsung. Certainly something to brag about. Thank you, Mr. Avery. And thank you to all of you for joining us for this incredible announcement. This is truly tremendous news for South Carolina and for Samsung. Immediately following this program, please join us for a reception in the lobby of the Opera House. We look forward to forging new friendships as we help Samsung launch its newest manufacturing facility right here in Newberry County, South Carolina. Thank you.